Today's Trello Tuesday video is all about a better way on how you can sync your Trello board to your Google Calendar. I just recently learned about this new way of doing it from Scott Friesen at Simpletivity, which I highly recommend you checking out his channel because I have been watching so many videos from him and they are so helpful. And so I'm going to share his channel below if you wanted to check it out too. And he shared about this new way of going about doing this. And I wanted to make sure that I shared it with you as well, um, because I have previously in the past shared how you can sync your Google Calendar with your Trello board through an old, a now old process. And I want to update this for you because this new way of doing it is so much better. And so I'm actually going to dive in and show you a comparison of what it looked like previously if you just synced it the way that I had previously told you and then the new way of doing it. And I think you're going to love it as well because not only do you not have to worry about wasting a power up, which where I was able to learn about this from Scott Friesen as well, he shared um, the it's called Chronify is where how you're actually going to sync up your to your calendar and your Trello board. And he shared a link, which I will share below too, on how to do this without even having to use a power up. And then secondly, you are actually able to edit the event within your Google calendar, which makes it so much better because usually Trello just automatically assigns an hour to your event. And for me, sometimes my events are only 10 minutes or they're three hours. Like it, they vary so much. And so I'm able to edit it now. And so I'm going to dive in and show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so we are at the website for Chronify that actually Scott Friesen provided from Simpletivity. And I'm actually going to share his video that he did as well with the, um, the sync between Trello with Trello boards and this um, new Chronify kind of um, syncing. So I'm going to share that in the com or I'm sorry in the description section below as well too. So if you wanted to see his video as well, um, and then this is how you can go about doing it without using a um, Trello power up. So you would just come to this website, and again, I'm, or I'm going to share the website as well in the description section too, and you can go to Connect Trello, and then if you have, so I have my Trello already up, so because I have my Trello already up, it is I notify, or it is seeing that I have that up, and so it's going to um, take that Trello account, so I'm going to allow it. Okay, and then you would go to where it says connect your calendar. So you would do that next. Okay, and then you set up your first sync. Now, um, with this option, you can, um, you get one free board sync. Um, and then you would then pay for any additional syncs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the to-do list board that I had, and I'm going to do any cards that are assigned to me. I'm not gonna do all cards, I'm gonna do any cards assigned to me. And then I'm going to add it to its own calendar as well, and we'll name it Trello to-do list board. And I'm going to identify it as busy um, for this particular board. And I'm not gonna have it an all day event. Um, I'm going to, let's make it a 30 minute, but again, you can adjust each individual um, task that you add into your Google Calendar. You can enable reminders if you like. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and just sync it now. Okay, so it is synced. Okay, so we are in my Trello board now. So this is my to-do list board. I've added some due dates here so that we have dates to go off of. Um, so I've now synced my Google, I'm sorry, this Trello board to my Google Calendar now through Chronify. 
So that has already happened. And now I've already now synced this, Google, this Trello board to my Google Calendar using the old method with the calendar power up and syncing it to my Google Calendar that way. So I'm going to show you my Google Calendar now. Okay, so now I'm in my Google Calendar and what you are seeing here is anything in the pink is from Chronify. Actually, I should probably, I could probably identify that, but let's just, pink is Chronify, and then the purple is the Trello sync with the calendar power up. And you can see if I go back to the Trello board, I just wanted to show you, if I go to show menu, the only power up I have right now is the calendar, and that calendar require, power up is required to sync your your Google Calendar sync to your Google Calendar the old way. So technically with the new way, with the Chronify way, you don't have to use the power up here. So let me show you exactly the difference. And the reason that the Chronify one didn't um, mimic this task is because this task, if I go back to the Trello board, is actually not assigned to me. So Remember, we had told Coronify to only pull the ones that were assigned to me into the um, Google Calendar. So that's why this one is not showing up because within the old process, anything that any task in this board are just pulled into your Google Calendar. Now we could have done the same thing with Chronify. We could have had it so that all of our cards are pulled in, but I had it so just the ones assigned to us are pulled in so that we are able to easily identify, you know, tasks that we need to work on. Okay, so now let me just show you the difference. So if I click on the one, remember purple is old way. <laughs> So if I click on this one, all you can do is just click on the card, go back to the card. You can't edit anything from here. That's it, that's all you can do. If I click on this new way, so this is Chronify, you actually have an edit button here. So you can actually edit the details within this. You can actually, you can delete it if you need to. Um, and you can actually move it around and adjust the time too. So let me show you. So with this one, I'm not able to adjust the time at all, but with this one, you can see an arrow where I can actually adjust. So let's say I need two hours to make dinner. It actually gets adjusted here. Or let's say I want to move this task to, instead of, let's say we're going out to dinner on Sunday instead. So I'm just going to move this to Monday and do that. Now what you're going to see is it will get updated within the Trello board as well. So remember the prepare dinner was originally on the 19th and now is on the 20th. So if I go back to my Trello board, prepare dinner is now on the 20th. However, the old way still shows it on the 19th. So the, the downside to the old process is it would take sometimes hours to update the, the actual changes that you make within your Trello board. So let's say, let's go the other way. Let's say with volleyball. Um, usually I have sand volleyball on Wednesday nights. But let's say for some reason, or actually I have it on su Wednesday and Sunday. So let's say that we want to change this now Let's say Wednesday is already over. We want to change this to Sunday now um, because that's when we have volleyball. So I'm going to say save here. So it is now updated here to July 26th. And then let's go to our Google Calendar. Okay, you will see that the old one still shows that the sand volleyball game is on Wednesday, the 22nd. But if we go to July 26, you'll see that the new one now shows it actually at the right time. And I did have to hit the refresh button, um, but it showed up really quickly. And you can actually, again, you know, make it an hour long because our volleyball game is an hour long. So that has been extremely beneficial now. And I can also, if I go into one of these, so... I typically, now this is not my like calendar that I access on a regular basis, but within the calendar that I access on a regular basis, I actually have 
different categories, um, different labels that I use, different colors that I use for, you know, my, my business, for household chores, for, you know, client work. So I have specific colors that I use for those categories. So now I can actually click on this particular event and I can go to edit and within my normal board, um, household chores is like a yellowy color. So I can actually come in here and change the color and then hit save. And so then when I'm looking at this, it shows up for me in that color so that I know, okay, this is a household task. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that once you mark the ta a task as complete or archive it, it's going to get removed from your calendar. So let's say, let's go in here and let's mark this one as complete. I don't know, I don't think if you mark it as complete, it's going to get deleted. Let's refresh it real quick. So it doesn't get deleted if you mark it as complete. However, let's go to our board. Let's archive this. So if we archive this particular task, Let's go to refresh. Okay, so it does remove it from your calendar. Now, personally for me, I like to have a record of all of the um, tasks that I've done all throughout the week. And even if I archive it in Trello, I want it to still show up in my Google Calendar as kind of like a history. And so what I am going to be doing for myself is let's say that this particular task I am going to duplicate this task and put it, so let's go to duplicate, or you can um, go to copy um, and copy it to a specific calendar. So for me, I would probably go to and copy it into my household planner, or I'm sorry, household um, chores calendar. So then technically you'll have two events showing up but once you archive the one in your Trello board, it will the other one will still remain within your Google Calendar. So personally for me, because I like to have a history within my Google Calendar, and if you're the same way, you might want to do this as well, is I will, once I've you know, identified the amount of time that the task is gonna take and when exactly I'm going to be doing it, so let's say I'm, I'm actually gonna be doing this load of laundry at this time, I'm going to then duplicate or copy that task so that I'll still have the record of it. So hopefully that makes sense for you. And um, just, you know, one caveat to this, and it would be the same situation for this other uh, process, the old process as well. Once you archived a card, it would eventually get removed from your Google Calendar as well. It would just take a little bit of time because um, there is a bit of a lag. So I am highly recommending that you go with this Chronify process now um, within your Trello board to sync it with your Google Calendar. So hopefully that was helpful for you and you have a more efficient way now of syncing your Trello board with your Google Calendar so that it is as up to date as it possibly can be when you are planning out your days within your Google Calendar if that's how you go about doing it. And I wanted to just mention, if you happen to have any questions relating to Trello or anything regarding Trello, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to address your question on a future Trello Tuesday video. Or if you're watching any of my other Trello Tuesday videos, feel free to leave a comment in any of those videos as well too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you are interested in learning more about Trello and different ways that you can utilize Trello, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I share new videos on Trello every Tuesday. And I wanna make sure that you're in the loop on those kind of videos. So thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you next time.